Okay, we got enough of you in the room. Uh, it's one minute after 4 p.m. So let's warm up with a little prayer, shall we? Because uh, we're going to traverse some rocky terrain today. So let's take a moment and breathe to let yourself settle in, to give yourself the grace of space, meaning that little extra wiggle room around you of relaxation, just being in the now. And if you like, you can even put a hand on your heart and just focus your awareness there as you breathe. To become more heart focused. And it's from this place I offer this prayer. Dearest God, Goddess, all that is. We think we know what true love is, but let us know better. Let us know that we do not know what role true love plays. We've been sold many different versions of it. A lot of mythology, a lot of superstition, a lot of falseness, and falseness can't be in something true. So we open our minds and our hearts willingly to receive an experience of true love so that we may know better, so that we may see it as the path that it truly is, a hero's journey all the way home to you. Thank you. So mo to be. Amen. So, uh, welcome to the Grace Stream. Uh, this true love uh, topic is uh, not coincidental. Uh, Jill and I started working on the next ebook called The Path of True Love. Uh, it is somewhat based on the videos that I have up on Vimeo.com. So, she is in the process of transcribing them. Uh, and they are going to be like a skeleton, like a foundation <coughs> uh, for the book because I recorded those a year ago. Yeah, a little over a year ago. And uh, even me watching them, I'm like, well, that's right, but now I know this, right? So we're gonna use that as a skeleton and then build upon it. Because the two issues that people tend to come to me about, and I've said this before, are money and love. And we talked about finances last week, so it just made sense, why don't we talk about true love? Now, it starts off with what is true love? And as I said in the prayer, we don't really know. We have mental definitions and we have some experiences of it. But the simplest definition that I can come up with, you know, something I can put into words, is that true love is the experience of divine love in human form. That outside of human form, it's all true love. Um, but that while we're here in this world of duality and separation, we experience well, what you could call its opposite, false love, special love, conditional love, where obviously true love is divine love and unconditional love. Um, and yet, if we look at the interplay of our relationships here, and I don't care what structure or form the relationships take, right? It can be a member of your family. It can be really anyone in your life that you have a relationship with. They are part of the path of true love, but often represent a great deal of falsehood. So uh, today's stream is going to be about a little bit about clarification and a little bit about preparation. So how we can prepare ourselves to work on the interior scaffolding to have a true experience of divine love.